What's up everyone, it's Jake here and welcome back to Almost Vintage Style and today we are doing a jacket review instead of talking about boots and we are talking about my Freewheelers Brakeman leather jacket and talking about why, in my opinion, still Freewheelers makes the best ready to wear jackets, leather jackets on the market and kind of by a decently wide margin if, if I'm being honest here. Okay, I'll try to make this one quick because I've already talked about freewheelers a lot. Now, I am actually selling this jacket because it doesn't fit me. Um, but a lot of people wouldn't know that when you see the pictures of, of me in this jacket because it fits really well in terms of how it looks on me. It looks great. Freewheelers does really good patterns, okay? Just straight up, they do some of the best patterns. That's one of the most underrated things to talk about with jackets. When you're new to jackets, a good pattern is absolutely huge. It's Honestly, the most important part of a jacket. And even a great pattern will not fit everybody, but the pattern matters a ton. And man, every time I put this on, I'm always like tempted to keep it because it still fits pretty decently. It's just a bit tight, like in the arms and the shoulders and, and, and the armpits a little bit, but like I can actually still button it up. Oh man, what if I didn't actually sell this one? It is technically still wearable. <laughs> but anyway, this jacket is, I mean, it is too small for me, technically. I, I'm not a, it's a 36. I have a 41 and a half to 42 inch chest. It doesn't technically fit me, right? But, I mean, I can, even with it buttoned up, right, you can see I can still move around. Like, yeah, it's tight, it's snug. But I can move in it. It's wearable, it's possible, you know what I mean? Um, any, like, sort of thick sweaters underneath are not possible. The arms are very slim. But it looks good, it's flattering. It's, this is a unique design, it's like very A-shaped, um, so it does kind of flare out the bottom. It's supposed to do that though. Um, for some people that might not look good on you, but for some people that looks amazing. Um, for me it looks great actually because um, I have a pretty, my rear is pretty big, um, and so it actually suits me quite well actually. Um, it doesn't, it, it, it's a, the right kind of model on me, right? Decent sized shoulders, slightly snug on me. You can kind of see that here, but still a good jacket. Um, this, when it fits somebody right, it looks amazing on them. Um, and that's the thing, even though it doesn't technically quite fit me, it still looks really good on me. That's, uh, and if it's too big, having it, I've, I've worn some of my freelance jackets when they were too big and they still look pretty good on me. That is to me a sign of, of, a, of a top tier off the rack pattern. And a lot, most of the Japanese brands don't make very good patterns. McCoy's makes pretty good ones, and I would say uh, Rainbow Country does too, although I'd say theirs are always too long. But, you know, freewheelers, especially for Japanese makers, can't be beat in terms of patterns. There's other good pattern makers. Vanson makes very good patterns. Again, they're kind of too long now. Um, uh, I would say also Thetty makes very, very good patterns. I've now tried them on in person, and they do indeed make Excellent pattern, same kind of thing as I tried on a jacket that was too small for me, but if you looked at it, you wouldn't be able to tell, you could only feel it. And they did just look good on me in general, even the ones that were slightly too long. They're very good patterns, and I've seen them on a lot of people, so Thetty's a great option as well for that. And honestly, I think Himmel Brothers makes very good patterns too. Those are kind of my personal favorites, honestly, in terms of uh, jacket makers that make really good patterns. And there's other examples as well. I think Regis is kind of a new up-and-comer who is very good at doing vintage patterns too. So, um, anyway, it's a, it's all of their jackets, um, the patterns are very good. Some of them may be even better than others. They're not all gonna fit everybody, but no jacket is like that. I mean, the Mulholland is very universal and fits almost everybody well. If you really, really got a super tapered look, you know, that's not going to fit you as well. Um, but the Bodhi would fit you in that case, the Caboose would probably fit you in that case, the La Brea would probably fit you in that case. You know, they're, you, they, you can find at least one freewheeler jacket that will probably fit you very well unless you're like super, super gigantic or very, very, very small. And they just flatter people, they look great. Um, the materials are also excellent. You know, the, the Shinky Horsehide they use is very, very good. They do their own proprietary finishing on them, which I do think makes it look better than a lot of other examples of Shinky. And they're very, very diligent. Um, They've been waiting a couple of years for their latest uh, La Brea's to come in because the leather wasn't up to their standard and they will wait. They will like just forego sales. They will not put a, a, an inferior product out there if they feel it's inferior. That's not true with a lot of brands. Freewheelers are just gonna wait until they get what they need and then they're gonna put it out. 
Um, so that's very important. I think that's very impressive. Um, I adore the leather on this jacket. Like this, this canyon brown is just so beautiful. Man, the fact that it's not super uncomfortable makes me want to keep this jacket. Um, but the other materials are also excellent. It's not just the leather. Because like I said, they finish it themselves. It's very good leather. You know, some people say Shinki is overrated. Even I admit it's kind of overrated by some people. But it's definitely a, a top tier leather, basically, right? But also, the other materials are excellent on their jackets. Um, so, like this jacket has these storm cuffs, which are very nice wool storm cuffs here. Beautiful. Um, it also has several different lining materials, and Free Withers really thinks about that. One of my other jackets that I reviewed had a, sec a, a different material even for the neck. This one doesn't, but it's a really nice wool material, or it's I think it's cotton wool blend or wool for the liner. Different um, flannel cotton liner for the sleeves, which is very soft and comfortable. Um, and then the pockets are also very nice materials. This is actually that same cotton flannel right here. I mean, you look at other freewheeler stuff too, like the materials they always go all out on. Like nobody tops them in terms of materials as far as, in my opinion. Um, and, oh, and then the inner pocket is actually a different material. It's a shirting quality um, Wabash fabric. So very, very nice. Um, so yeah, they really go all out on that kind of stuff. It's it's beautiful. They, they really try go the extra mile. Also, for the most part, their finishing and construction is really, really good, especially on their leather jackets. Interestingly, in my experience, the construction quality on their, like, fabric jackets and, and garments is not the best. Um, McCoy's usually beats them out there, and a lot of other brands, too, actually. Like, I had a peacoat from Freewheelers, but the stitching was pretty sloppy, but the materials were amazing, and the cut was perfect. It's kind of weird. But on their leather jackets, overall, the construction quality is excellent. They do a lot of really nice techniques very very neat um you know they, they they're good with the french seams they're they're very good with um you know just joining and um how all the leathers together all the panels together sorry and um you know they sky very well everything's very clean very neat you know my body is a little bit less nicely stitched than some of my other ones other jackets i've had from them but i've had a lot of free wheelers jackets and that was the only one that wasn't amazing and still very, very good and better than a lot of other jackets I've had. So the quality is just excellent. So, um, yeah, it, it's hard to beat freewheelers in terms of overall leather jacket quality, um, in my opinion. Now, obviously, they might not work for everybody. Um, they don't really have anything that's going to fit you great if you're a really, really big guy. Um, you... It's just not their thing. Most of their stuff, most of the things are pretty slim or athletically cut. Um, not like super, super skinny. Like you can be a pretty athletic guy and fit into a lot of their stuff, but um, you know, it's not for everybody. And um, it's also very expensive, very, very expensive. And their prices have gone up significantly. Now, as of right now, it's not too different than the way it used to be because the um, exchange rate is very favorable right now, but you're still going to be paying twenty-five to twenty-eight hundred dollars for a free wheelers jacket. So, you know, a couple years ago you'd be paying about two thousand dollars. Now you're paying like twenty-five, twenty-eight hundred, um, even from the Japanese retailer. So who knows? It's like over three thousand dollars if you're buying from a Western retailer now. Very expensive. It's worth it maybe for some people, but you know that's a lot, and I don't see myself buying one new at those prices right now unless they fit me perfectly especially now that i've really gotten a couple great vintage jackets that you know i'm kind of leaning towards that now obviously i still have my body i haven't sold this one's technically for sale um so i am selling this one the brakeman um it's a really cool design i mean I, it as far as car coats my this is my favorite car coat i've ever seen like it's just beautiful um and it's not, the style is not for everybody, but it looks awesome. I love it. Um, and just freewheelers, they were the first ones to do a lot of these repros that other people are now doing. Like, they, they, they really do a lot of great leather togs repros that nobody else used to do. Now other people are doing it. Obviously worse than freewheelers does them. But, you know, freewheelers obviously did them first and still does them best. They just really think about everything. They're not for everybody. Um, they are the brand, though, that in my opinion is the one that makes J Japan Japanese 
like leather jackets especially look better than a lot of other people's they're the one of the brands that makes people think japan is just the best at making leather jackets that's not true but it's because freewheelers are so good at it um and the factory they use is excellent they also make the rainbow country jacket so if you want something of equal quality to freewheelers go with rainbow country um but no you're not gonna get the, quite the same designs i think freewheelers patterns are better now rainbow country does suit other people really really well if you're tall and thin rainbow country is going to suit you really really well I am not tall and thin, so not going to suit me quite as well, unfortunately. Um, and also, Rainbow Country makes G1s and uh, A2s, which freewheelers, I think they might have used to make a G1, but they don't anymore, and they never, I don't think they've ever made an A2. At least they definitely don't right now, so yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm a big freewheelers fan. Um, so this is kind of like a review of the jacket, but also just talking about freewheelers in general. Um, but yeah, I really like them. Uh, it's very expensive though, but look for it used. You might be able to get a slightly better deal now uh, than on new, but everything's going up. Freewheelers jackets really hold their value. The sellers, it's one of those brands where like, you know what you have and uh, you're not gonna be able to get a crazy deal on them for the most part. But you know, they're worth looking for. Look on Yahoo Auctions Japan. That's probably your best bet to get a good used freewheelers jacket or in the classified section of the Fedora Lounge if you're interested. But um, if you are into Japanese made stuff like Japanese Amakaji repro stuff For leather jackets, you can't talk you can't touch freewheelers um, There's other great brands like I said Teddy and, 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 and stuff like that, but um, For my money I I've come around into like vintage jackets and I have a Vanson now that I really like but If you're talking about the whole package for an off-the-rack jacket nothing matches freewheelers um, but Again, fit matters more than anything else. And for off the rack, that's one of the reasons why I like them because they, they're very flattering and they fit a lot of people really well. But some of you might need custom or some of you might just not fit into freewheelers so you actually are going to be better off with other brands. I am, for the most part. As it's turning out for me, most of the freewheelers models aren't actually fitting me now with my, the way my body is now. Um, my body fits me great, but overall, the way I'm built now, I've, now that I've lost weight and getting in better shape, the way I am right now, the freewheelers aren't actually the best. I'm going to go to Japan again hopefully soon and try some more on, but yeah. Um, anyway, I'm a big fan, obviously, you can tell, um, and I do recommend their stuff overall, but you got to be aware of the price. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.